Breaking right now, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office providing details about arrests made in a double shooting that killed two teenagers after a Sweet 16 party. Let's listen in. <laughs> Are y'all ready? Sheriff, we got used to people starting on time. Yes, we're ready. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim Pound, the Sheriff of Douglas County. On the 14th of uh, March yesterday, we arrested three individuals connected to our mass shooting slash homicide on the 4th of this month. Following folks we have in custody is a Timothy Lamar Coleman, Chase Terrence McDowell and Chance Terrell McDowell. Each one of them is charged with the following charges, two counts of mass murder, nine counts of aggravated assault, seven counts of aggravated battery, and other charges are pending, including participation in gang activity. And it goes to say, hold on, hold on again. Okay, we did to uh, we did call this uh, find out it was a gang hit, gang related, and it was um, the folks that was hurt and killed were not the intended target. They were the innocent bystanders. So this case is still very very active, and we have a lot lot more work to be done on this case. But as I told you before, we will finish this case in time. But before I leave, I'd like to thank the Douglasville Police Department, Cobb County Sheriff's Department, Police Department, Georgia State Patrol, and my investigations team. Without them, I couldn't have done it. I'll put them up against anybody in the state. I got a good team. Some of them I had to force to go home. Sheriff, we got a homicide to solve, but I had to force some of them to go home. So. That's where we're at today. Sheriff, what led you to these three people? <laughs> Hard, old-fashioned police work. Hard, old-fashioned police work. Do you have eyewitnesses? We have one. But like I said, that's active. I don't want to get too deep into these questions. Are they uh, brothers, the Chance and Chase? Twins. Twins, yeah, twins. What's the name of that gang? I ain't gonna give them no air time. I ain't gonna decorate them on the air. But, but they, are, huh? I was gonna say you obviously have a rival gang. We have. Uh, they related to a gang, <coughs> but I ain't. I, I don't want to dress them up. But we're gonna get them too. Sheriff, do you expect any other arrests related to this? Definitely, more arrests is pending. Any idea how many? Don't know that. But it will be some more arrests. Do you think that these are the shooters? Yes, ma'am. To a certain degree. Is it all three fired shots? Don't know that's still active. Don't know that. Are all three of these or any of these high school students? Two of them. The twins were. How old are you? Seventeen. And 
How old is Mr. Cole? 18. Sheriff, was there anything, uh, anything key that led to these arrests that you shared? And I don't want to keep repeating, but being so honest, this old, just honest police work. You got to work just about around the clock. Yeah. And then stop. Did, did cell phones or cell phone phones, video right. play a role in this at all, as far as finding the suspects? Again, I'm going to leave that one out. Because yeah. it's, so, it's still active. I don't want to say nothing. To get, we'll just leave that out right now. Sheriff, why was it important? We saw the video of you walking the suspects in. Why was it important for you to actually have your hands on them and show the public of them being walked in? Simply because I told my community and the public that I was going to catch these guys that committed this terrible crime in my county. And I worked along with my investigators to do exactly that. I was there doing the takedown part. I seen it when they got off what, what they were standing. I saw all I was standing right there looking at them. I just didn't actually go put the cuffs on, but I was there when the cuff was put on them. And how rewarding was that? Oh, real reward. Very, very rewarding. Because that was my job, and that's what I promised, and that's what I've done. Can you talk where about where they, they were arrested? arrested? Yeah. They were arrested in Cobb County. At one of their homes? Or? No, ma'am. Out in the open, in the public. Were they in a vehicle? They were getting in a vehicle. Sheriff, what's the thing you got there in the back? This was one of the weapons that was used that we took off of him. Which one? Which one? Uh, Timothy. What kind of weapon is that? That's a Glock 9. And he had that at the time of the arrest? He, well, to be honest with you, it was two arrested, two folks there. Two of them. One of them were connected to our case. The gun was passed to him to hold, but that gun was confiscated during the time he was arrested. Sheriff, sure, do you believe that gun was involved in the I case? certainly do. And you believe that gun was in the hands of Coleman? I at do. The time of arrest. Yes. But you believe it was part of the shooting on the floor? Possibly. I don't know. We don't know that just yet. There's indication, but we just can't say, yeah, it was. We won't do that yet. Have you been able to identify, and I know you've been, and I'm, we're asking these questions, but we got to ask them. Have you been able to identify what prompted the shooting? I can in the end. I know what. Prompted to a certain degree, it was uh, like I said, it was all game related. Maybe game retaliation, but now y'all almost cease with your question. Then uh, well, go ahead. One, one more question. Uh, <laughs> the court reporters say were there that night. Were they there at the party and then asked to leave, or did they show up to the crowd? Now that I know they were at the party. Now I don't know the second part of the question. I don't. I don't know the answer to that. They were at the original party and then the right. same group that left. And was on the street. Yes, ma'am. Sheriff, we so, ask these questions because, in particular, one parent says she wants answers. She wants to know how this happened. That would give her some sort of peace and some I, sort of I sense. understand that, but in order for me to get that to her, yeah. I got to clear it off. And right now, it's so active, I can't answer a lot of those questions. Let me get a clarification because I'm not as familiar with this case. You're saying your suspects left the party and came back? No, ma'am. Oh, okay. No, ma'am. But they were there. They were, I was like I said, they was there. Did they ever go in the house? That I don't know. I don't know. So there was no car that did a drive by? No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. Okay. You're feeling pretty good about this arrest. Very, very good about it. And I feel even better when the rest of them is arrested. How many other people? Don't have a clue how many of them. Like I say, still very active. Oh, Sheriff, I have a question. Um, the police, were they also arrested in Cobb County, or were they arrested in Douglas County? Douglas County. At their homes? No, ma'am. Thank you. Were they arrested here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. When they came to pick up something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm finished, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all. One more thing. Is there a message you want to send to the parents of the victims today? You know, it was so sad as we was coming in with the inmate yesterday. They was burying a little guy that they murdered. And uh, 
I'm going to say this to the people, and I hope they really abide by it. Parents can't be children's friend. Parents got to be parents. Now, these kids are so young to be committing such horrible crimes. And once again, it comes from home raising. You got, to, you got to go back to being a parent. You got to do that if we're going to get a handle on our children because we lose them at a fast pace. Fast pace. And it's going to take the parents to assist me in helping stop this. It's going to take the parents and the community. Sure. But thank y'all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm finished. Can you hold up the gun one more time, please, sir? Douglas County Sheriff Tim Pounds there talking about this case, a mass shooting after a Sweet 16 party, and he ended talking about all of the kids involved, everyone that he talked about today from those that are now under arrest to all the victims were under the age of 18. So just to recap, a lot of new details he just shared with us in this deadly shooting. They arrested Timothy Coleman, he's 18, and twins, Chance and Chase McDowell, they're 17 year old high school students. Sheriff Pounds says they are all facing two counts of mass murder, nine counts of aggravated assault. Also, gang charges are pending. Two young people were killed and seven injured. The sheriff says the ones who were hurt and killed were not intended targets. They were all innocent bystanders. Those innocent victims were Ajene Hill. She was 14, a student at Douglas County High School. Samuel Moon was 15. He went to Lithia Springs High School. You heard Sheriff Pounds mentioning that Samuel Moon was buried on the same day they brought these three suspects in. He also mentioned this is still a very active investigation and says there could be more arrests. He expects there will be more arrests. This is a developing story. We'll have much more coverage for you throughout the day here on 11live.com, on the 11live app, and on the shows on broadcast.